Good morning, Melanie. Yes, Washington, the suspect in this case, made his initial appearance before a judge just a short time ago in probable cause court. And it's important to note here that his charge is currently aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but it is likely that charge will be upgraded to murder because the victim in this case did end up dying. And so up on your screen right now is the mugshot of the suspect. Washington, he's 51 years old and accused of fatally stabbing a woman to death on Saturday while riding on the Metro rail. Investigators with Metro Police believe there was some sort of an argument between uh, the man Washington and the woman before the alleged stabbing happened. Washington then left the scene, but officers did manage to track him down yesterday and made that arrest. As for the woman, the victim in this case, her family has identified her as Alexis Gerald. She was taken to the med center where she passed away from her injuries two days later, and we learned in court that she was stabbed in her chest and had some damage to her heart. And according to her family, she had just moved here to Houston and was working as an admin assistant. And her family, by the way, lives over in Florida, but they are now here in Houston. Washington did not speak in court. We learned that he is a veteran who has a pretty extensive criminal history, ranging from uh, things like trespassing to auto theft and even terroristic threats. And at the time of the stabbing incident, he was actually out on bond for allegedly, uh, allegedly assaulting a woman. That incident uh, happened back in August. So the judge told Washington he believed that he is a habitual felon and set his bond at $500,000 and also ordered supervision if he is able to bond himself out of custody. And his case is now assigned to the 228th court. So, of course, we're going to continue to monitor the docket to see when he is due back in court. But, Melanie, just some shocking details learned yes. in uh, probable cause court just a short time ago. I mean, it sounds like the injury is obviously bad enough for this victim to pass away. And so with that, I'm going to toss it back inside to you. We're live from downtown Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right.